Hi there, I'm meteorologist Rob Karlmark with a update specific for the fire weather uh, that we're gonna experience over the next couple of days because we have two ongoing fairly large fires and I think they're gonna burn a lot of acres, produce a lot of smoke, but they are in areas that are relatively remote and rural and for the people that live there, big deal. There have been various uh, issues of uh, mandatory evacuation notices for some of these areas. But again, for as far as a big fire near an urban area, these are not them, but they are large. And we want to start off here with this is the Walker fire. And then we have the Red Bank fire. This one's 44,000 acres as of Monday morning, 7% containment. But it's the wind direction that I think is going to be a bit of a problem. For both of these fires, uh, later on into the day on Monday, we're expecting west winds 15, 20 miles an hour with some stronger gusts. Now, by itself, that's not that much of a windy day, but with an ongoing fire with dry weather as well, uh, it's gonna definitely allow that fire to grow and to also move into new unburned areas. For the Red Bank fire, it may actually in some areas pu push it back onto where it's already burned, so there may be a benefit, but the issue with that one is the smoke and haze that should push off into more populated areas up and down I-5, Red Bluff, and other spots. Uh, for the northeast corner of California, we are looking at a fairly quiet area. This is usually one of the most least populated areas with uh, the, the least people affected, but I will say for Susanville and for some other spots, smoke and haze will be an ongoing issue. Also in this area for tomorrow, we are expecting more thunderstorms with dry lightning, so there may be new fire starts. And one extra zone that we should be talking about today is the east side of the Sierra, up and down 395, Bishop, Lone Pine, uh, Bridgeport, some of these spots. We're looking at extreme fire weather conditions, very dry, windy, and fairly warm. And we have a red flag warning from 1 p.m. until later on tonight. So we'll watch that area as well for any new fire starts.